Your TV is spying on you. Stop it fast. Guys, your TV is spying on you. Not in theory. In reality. Every few seconds it takes a tiny screenshot of what you are watching. Even if it is VHA tape. Even if it's a content from your USB stick. It watches you watching him. And this has happened over a decade. Most people have no idea. Stick around because I'm going to show you what's really going on and how to fight back. Guys, I'm Adam. Welcome to the Hardwin82 channel. And if you like crazy, scary stories, don't go anywhere. <laughs> what is ACR and how does it work? ACR, Automated Content Recognition, also known under different names depends from the brand. For example, viewing information services on LG TV, Samba Interactive TV or Sync Plus in Samsung, Live Plus on older models, View Data or Smart Interactivity on Visa, and sometimes simply Interactivity or ICR under Sony settings. It's it's a technology embedded in many smart TVs today. It captures low-resolution screenshots every 10-50 seconds and sends them to the cloud. These tiny 100 to 100 pixels images are enough to identify movies, online videos, even games, even game interfaces. So what's the goal? To track your behavior and sell it to advertisers, streaming platforms, even data brokers. It doesn't really matter how you watch TV. Is it normal content, HDMI, internet with all those built apps? Doesn't matter. The TV still watches you. This system has been embedded in many TVs since around 2014, especially in models from popular brands. Companies like Samda TV and Inkscape are behind this technology. And yes, there have been lawsuits for collecting data without clear consent. Can we sign out from this madness? In theory. In theory, you can go into the settings and opt out. In practice, these options often re-enable themselves after some kind of firmware updates or they are simply buried in terms and conditions during the setup. And most people just click accept without proper reading. Even a factory reset isn't enough unless you manually blocked or decline everything. So what you exactly can do to stop it? Here's my favorite method. Treat your TV like a suspicious guest. Set up a guest Wi-Fi network for the TV. That way it's isolated from the rest of your home. Then use your router's parental control to monitor what the TV tries to connect to block anything suspicious. I actually made a video on how to block ads using this, uh, this way. The link will be provided. The same method works beautifully against ACR traffic. But I wish it could be so simple. Smart TVs can get really sneaky. If DNS is blocked, they might switch to fallback DNS using a DNS over HTTPC or try to disguise data as a normal secure traffic. That's why advanced users go step further. So I was looking into that subject and I think you have three different options. Option number one, you need a device like a Raspberry Pi with a special software I recommend AppGuard Home. So this device acts like a small chip computer that filters DNS for your entire home. You will need to install a special OS, set a static IPs and point your network to it. Option two, buy a mini computer like Intel NUC or other mini PC. Uh, it, has, it has more power, can run Pi-hole, AdGuard or even firewall systems like uh, PFSense. Option number three, you need a special router with uh, open WRT firmware. You flash it, install filtering packages and manage traffic directly from the gateway. All of this lets you inspect and block every domain that TVs connects to. So what's the best solution, if you ask me? The best solution is make your telly dumb again. <laughs> 
not great again, dumb again. What I mean by that, don't connect to the internet at all. Use it purely as a display, nothing more. From that point, connect your tally with a PC or a laptop via HDMI cable and you have much better control. So, my proposition is this. Stop using your smart tally to watch content online. Use, use this new computer you just built. Idea is simple. You will connect this PC directly to your tally via HDMI cable. Computer is connected to internet. That depends from you. You could use Wi-Fi card. I use the Wi-Fi card, but you could use cable as well. And uh, start watching content through internet browser. Just in install uh, browser like uh, Brave, maybe also extension uh, uBlock Origin, and start watching whatever you want from there. Again, I made a similar video about that, and uh, the link will be provided again. Uh, I think this is the best method at the moment, uh, because even if you manage to do what I just told you, those companies are very smart and they are changing everything on the go. So it depends when you watch this video. My recommendations might be not accurate anymore, but if you use your tally as a just simply display, this will work. Smart tallies are getting more intelligent, but not for you, for the corporations. If you value your privacy, don't rely on settings. They are not built for you, they are built for them. If you found this useful, drop a like, leave a comment and share it. It helps fight the algorithm. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more deep dives into digital privacy. Guys, if you want to ask me some questions about this topic uh, please leave the comment and I will make a part two of this of this subject in the meantime thank you and see you next time thank you guys bye